hello welcome to stampin by hannah thank you so much for joining me today i first of all i'm going to apologize for this great big shadow in my shot um normally on a wednesday evening i go live here on my youtube channel and this evening unfortunately um i'm unable to do that because i'm at my um team's christmas party instead um, which yeah, so instead of missing the evening altogether, I thought I would uh, pre-record a video for you and then I can kind of be guilt-free at uh, my team party. So I thought I would share this cute box with you. But so the shadow <laughs> brain, um, I don't understand what I've done differently today. Um, my camera is in the same place, my light is in the same place, I've got a weird shadow, I don't know why. So I'm apologising for that straight off. But anyway, so we've got this adorable little box um, that I might have made for uh, sort of Lindor balls. Um, there's, there's none in there, um, but it opens from the bottom, um, so it's super cute um, and you don't have to faff about with the top. Um, I made this, I shared this a couple of weeks ago on a Saturday for an inspiring um, advent themed blog hop um, and I thought, oh you know what, I'll do a video. So I haven't done a 3D video for a little while, um, so I'm a bit rusty, but we'll see, we'll try and make it work. This one is Pool Party and the um, Storybook Gnomes paper, I think my, is my camera in a different place than normal, possibly. Um, which is just lovely and there's no gnomes on this paper it's just snowflakes but it's cute um today i have got splendid thoughts now i have no idea at the time of recording this whether this is still available for you it is on the last chance list um so it may well have sold out i don't know um but yeah that's what i'm using today and some of the um splendid no can't remember the name of the paper. This beautiful paper. I've got the fresh freesia one. Um, and it's that foil on the back. It's beautiful. Um, but I've already cut that. So that's the big sheet um, <laughs> ready. So to make this adorable little box, you are going to need your stamp and trimmer. And you actually, this is not something I do very often. You're going to need to use the extension arm. I... I've got to apologise as well, first off, because all of these measurements are metric, because that's how my brain works. Um, it works best with A4, and yeah, so I'm really sorry if you don't use uh, metric measurements. Um, I am going to have some projects coming really soon that have got um, both metric and imperial, but this one is just metric. So this piece of cardstock measures 17 centimetres by 15, which I know is awkward. Um, you could do... 17 by 14.8 and get two out of the sheet of cardstock. I've just stuck with 15 because it's easy for the maths in my head. Um, but all it's going to mean is that this bit here at the top is a little bit shorter. That's all. That's the only difference. So on the long side, you are going to score. So on your trimmer, you've got a dark grey blade. Move it over a bit. You've got a dark grey blade and a light grey blade. The dark grey blade is for cutting when I keep that one right out of the way. I actually <laughs> took that blade off. Um, when I made this. So all you all you need to do, I shall do this for you, um, is slide your cutting blade or your, your blade down to the bottom. There is like a section just here, I hope you can see it, where it goes a little bit wider. It's really subtle and you literally just take it into that gap and pull it up and it pops right out so i'm going to leave that one off because then i can't cut i can only score with my power grade blade. so i'm going to pull the arm back out again so on the long side i am going to score at four centimeters eight twelve And 16. Now, 16 is awkward because of the trimmer, but it's actually right on the edge. So you don't necessarily need to use um, the extension, but it's just, I find it easier to pull the extension out. Then you're going to turn it so that the short side is at the top. And we're going to score at two. 
at six, at ten, and at thirteen. Now, don't worry about writing all these measurements down. There is a page already on my blog, like I said, I did blog this a few weeks ago, uh, with all of the uh, measurements on. So I will link that in the description bar, just for the line. So I need, I've moved all my desks around today because my I've worked from home. And so to work from home, I clear my entire craft desk. Um, so I haven't put everything back yet. And my brain is a little bit just frazzled. Um, <laughs> the thought of moving everything back tonight, I'm like, nope. Don't work from home very often. Um, thank goodness, because I need my craft desk to be my craft desk. Um, so we're just gonna we're just folding and burnishing on all of those score lines that we have just created, just like so. Then, so I've got the skinny edge over on the left, and the so you've got. A kind of a skinnier one, a skinny one, a fat one, a fat one, and a skinny one. So you want the, the kind of two skinnier at the top with the two. Does that make sense? And what we're going to do is we're going to keep this one completely whole. We're going to cut this one away. And we're going to cut these ones in half. Okay? So I'm going to grab my um, snips. I'm going to chop that there and I'm going to chop that straight down there and that one there that one all the way down I need to chop this bit here all the way off and I'm going to chop this one all the way down I'm going to chop this piece here off and then this piece in half so you've got that sort of shape it doesn't really matter about how um how wide these pieces are now i'm going to just kind of notch the edges of those both of those pieces because they are the flappy bits they are these these flaps here at the bottom and then i also need to notch in the um, that flap there and that just makes it easier to open and close there we go so I have got tear and tape today you could use seal plus for this um you could use red liner tape if you've got some of that lying around um but I'm going to use my tear and tape just because it's what I've got handy and I'm going to put tear and tape all the way down this edge and I'm going to put it close up to that score line all the way down there. Now we've got no adhesive on the bottom, but we do need adhesive on the top. So when we fold it round, we're going to pinch in the sides and squeeze it together. So we need adhesive all the way across the top on the inside. So you've put that one on the outside. Now turn it over and put a strip all the way across on the inside. I say all the way across, it doesn't need to be all the way, um, because um, it's going to squeeze together. Then we also need to put adhesive on these two pieces, because they're the ones we're going to pinch in. So on the outside, so again, near the top, like so. So you've got one strip down one side, two pieces on the top with a gap in the middle, and then one piece on the in. So let's do the this piece off first. I've got my take a pick with the um the, the picky tool on. Pe pe piercing tool. And I'm just going to fold that round like that, and then it will lay exactly where I want it. And we can fold the bottom in. Now what I also should have done, or could have done, is put my DSP on. But I haven't done that, but that's okay. 
Um, <laughs> then we need to take the, the tape off from the inside. And I'm gonna lay this down. I know this is really difficult to see, just to get the kind of tape going on the middle. So I'll pull that all the way around. And so I've got the, the two sides that I've got my, I've just got a little bit too much tape there. Um, two sides that I've got my tape on. I'm gonna pinch them together like so. Now I have pinched that together and you're gonna be going, ah, what have you done that for? I'm now gonna just reach in and you could you could remove these as bits of adhesive first. I have probably done it the awkward way, but that's okay. There's many ways to skin a cat, isn't there? Not that you should be skinning any cats, but that's the phrase, that's the expression. So <laughs> there we go. Now that is a little bit wonky, but that's okay, it's handmade. How have I managed to make it so wonky? That's hilarious. Anyway, so designer sewers paper, what I need, what I need is my seal, and I haven't got it because it fell under my desk last week. Uh, so let's use some seal plus for this. This has this um, paper has got um, foil on the back of it, so seal plus might work better. Um, and like I said, you, I probably should have done this before I stuck the box together. But hey, never mind. Does it matter? Any way at all works at this point. Now, seal actually has worked quite well for me here. Um, is tricky. Seal Plus is a tricky little um, creature. Um, and top tips are to go straight down onto your paper, carefully along, and then pull it straight up. If I hopefully you'll be able to see the adhesive on there. Yes, look at that. So you've got like strips of glue. So you don't need to do a flicks or anything like that. Literally just peel it up and it will snap itself. Um, we used to have to do like flicks and kicks and all sorts, didn't we? But yeah, straight down, straight along, straight up. She says. <laughs> it doesn't work, but it's okay. There we are. So I have got all my four pieces of designer sewers paper on the side of my box and I do want to do a little bit of stamping today. So I have used the uh, Splendid Stems dies. I love these, they're so pretty. And I've done two die cuts. So I've got this lovely like, leaf one and the um, semicircle. And I've got the stamp Let's celebrate from the Slender Thought Stamp set and Rich Raspberry Ink. So this is Fresh Freesia. And Rich Raspberry, for me, is a kind of darker tone. So I'm going to just stamp that. I did think that, oh gosh, have you seen that? My ink pad has leaked. Um, it does happen every now and again. I do, oh goodness. I actually store this one the wrong way around for a little bit. It's a bit too juicy. Um, So... I just stamp that straight down on there. So I, yeah, Rich Raspberry is a kind of hue of um, fresh freezer. Fresh freezer in that, it, it's a, it's in that purple family. And if you stamp Rich Raspberry off enough times, you will get a kind of fresh freezer colour. Um, I nearly did turn on so fresh freezer stamping and then thought, no, I want it a little bit more. Look at that, so, so pretty. Now, I have got a little scrap of tinselly ribbon and a bit of um, retired product in the fact that I've got a single, it's a Stampin' Up single hole punch. It's a, it's an eighth of an inch punch. Um, I've had this for years. I genuinely don't remember the last time we sold these. Um, <laughs> been a demonstrator for about eight years. So it's possible it's probably about seven years old. Um, and I'm just going to punch two little holes, one in that label and one in the top of our box. Like I said, and there's now a lot of layers to that. There we go. Um, you could use, you know, 
any old hole punch would do. I, this one, I like this one because it's little. Um, and I am going to attempt, she says, because this is quite fat ribbon. I might need to just trim a bit more off to get it to do it. Oh, oh, there we go. So there's that bit. Let's see if I can get it through the next hole. It is sh it has shed a little bit as it as I've pulled it through. Um, but that's okay. I I think this is also retiring this ribbon. Um I have to admit, not um upset. <laughs> I think it's gonna be great on this project, but it's I think it's one of those things that you kind of need need the right project for. So and that's that's now on backwards. Try again, Han. Try again. Um there we go. There we go. So <laughs> I'm just going to tie that in a little knot. Don't need a bow. Haven't got enough ribbon for that. Little double knot. I'm gonna put it on the front. There we go. A bit of let's celebrate. And then this lovely pretty leaf that I'm gonna stick kind of up in there. Um, but I do need to something to stick it on because it's just gonna fall off otherwise. So I want not an organized with adhesive this evening. <laughs> A mini glue dot, and I'm just going to take my mini glue dot and fold it in half oh i think i have got my camp my phone the other way around that's probably why um my shadow's worse actually so i'm gonna stick that up in there and there we have our cute little box so this one uses like i said this one is um Pool Party and the Storybook Gnomes paper. And this one is Fresh Freesia. Like I said, all the measurements are available over on my blog. And the link for that blog post is in the description bar below. And I hope to see you again really soon. I am, I think, live on Facebook on Sunday. The link to my Facebook page is also in the down bar below. Do head over and give that a like. Like my Instagram. Click, um... What is it? Rate, no, that rate review and subscribe. That's the podcast. <laughs> Too many different things happening. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, do all of that good stuff. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.